This is the clerk's office. This was the workspace for the clerks and the traders at Fort Union. Here they kept the company books, recording furs brought in by the natives, goods traded to the natives, gifts given to the natives, and the salaries of company employees. Take a look at this map. Quite interesting. In this room, the manager met with the tribal dignitaries, exchanged gifts and speeches, smoked a pipe, and conducted trade negotiations. Meetings were an important part of the business ritual between the trades, traders, and the tribes. This type of ceremony left both sides with a feeling of satisfaction and allowed Fort Union to operate successfully and peacefully. This is a hunter's cabin inside the fort. And he had facilities outside here, had nice room because he was very important to this fort. He provided the meat for the fort and for any dignitaries that came to the fort to trade. Apparently, it took 600 buffalo to feed this fort. There would be maybe 60 during the winter that stayed here and it could be a hundred or more during the summer. So a lot of food was required to feed everyone. I've come through the back gate of the fort which you would have taken if you're going to take a, a road to the wilderness trails and gold fields beyond. But here's the prairie. Natives coming to the fort to trade would have had to set up their teepees outside the fort because no natives were allowed to be inside the fort. So this whole prairie right here by the fort would have had all kinds of teepees set up to do their trade with the fort. Here I am coming in the back door of the fort and the natives were not allowed to use this entrance. They had to come through the front entrance for the protection of everyone in the fort. This fort never had any problems with natives 
but there were sometimes hostilities between tribes and they had to be careful of not offending either tribe and keeping them separate.